To export a player character from GCA, you start with the character loaded, go up to File, Export, select the Export PC for Fantasy Grounds filter, check Custom File Format, and set the file extension to .xml. Hit OK. Save it to a, a location, give it a name, and you're done. To export an NPC, the process is very much the same with one minor difference. Again, start with your character loaded, go up to File, Export, select Export NPC for Fantasy Grounds, check the custom file format, the extension is .xml, hit OK, choose your location and file name, and that's it. Now we'll import them into Fantasy Grounds itself. We'll now import the characters that we exported from GCA into Fantasy Grounds and we're going to do this as the GM. To do this, open up your F Fantasy Grounds campaign file, go to the chat window, type in import char, it'll open a window for you to find and select the files you're going to import. We're going to import the PC, click open and Fantasy Grounds will do the import. You will then find the file under characters. You can open that up, um, give it a picture and a, a token. And that character is done. And that will have imported everything all your advantages, disadvantages, your skills. Um, and any other abilities. Uh, you've got your combat information imported, um, inventory, and even a character description and any notes that may have been set up within GCA. So that's the PC import. Now we're going to import an MPC. The process is very much the same except we use the import mpc command it'll bring up the window for us to select the file we select the mpc export and that file will now be within gca oh, sorry within fantasy grounds like so now we'll move on to doing the same import but this time as a, a player joining a, a game. Fantasy Grounds allows players to import their own characters for use in the game. The way we do that is we open up Fantasy Grounds, go to the Manage Characters, we click on the GURPS rule set in the rule set list then select Start. This will open up Fantasy Grounds in a, a player mode. Um, to get the character imported, we simply go to the chat window, type in slash import char. That will open up a window to allow us to locate and select the file that we're going to import. Simply select it, click open, and the character will now be available as a local character. We can select that character and make whatever changes we we need to before we uh, use the character in, a, in an actual game. I've now joined a hosted game and I'm going to show you how to get that locally imported character onto the server ready for play. When Fantasy Grounds first opens up and you've joined the game you'll be presented with a character selection screen. If you're not it's simply a matter of clicking the characters icon and that will open up the character selection screen. Next, we find the little blue icon here, click that and that will take us to our locally imported characters. Sim simply select the character that is then transferred to the server ready for use. From here, 
we can make whatever changes we need to uh, so the character is ready to play. So our character is now on the server, we're ready to go, and that's how you import characters in Fantasy Grounds. Thanks for watching.